I'm really excited to be here, and I'm really excited to be a part of this. As President Tamina said, my name is John Gatmeyer, and I am the president of the Utah Valley University Alumni Association. Today, I not only have the privilege and pleasure of congratulating you on your graduation from this great institution, I also have the incredible opportunity of welcoming each and every one of you into the Utah Valley University Alumni Association. So, to make it formal, congratulations to each and every one of you and welcome to a group of alumni that is growing by the thousands each and every year. Graduation from UVU represents a huge achievement for all of you and I wish you all the happiness today and in the, week, in the coming days, weeks, months and years as you reap the benefits of all of your hard work. If I may, much like President Taminas, I'd also like to take the opportunity to congratulate your families, friends, as well as UVU's brilliant faculty and staff. Their efforts and support have helped you bring, to, bring you to this great moment. Would all of the graduates please again join me in expressing gratitude to all of those who have helped you along your journey here at UVU. We, each and every one of us, are authors of our own stories, a book that you are writing daily. For some of you, your book is only a few chapters long. For others like myself, we're a bit further in. Today represents all of you closing, all of you, that represents for all of you, excuse me, the closing of a particularly special chapter in that book. I'm sure that you would all agree that this has been a very exciting chapter and one that you might shed a few tears in finishing. Yet regardless of where you are in life and the number of chapters in your story, the simple fact that each of you are here today says that your story is one worth reading. The Greek philosopher, and I'm going to say this name wrong, Epictetus, sorry, said that if your choices are beautiful, so too will you be. It's simple and it's true. You are what your choices make you, nothing more and nothing less. The choices that you make become the substance of your story, and with every choice you position yourself for the next great, beautiful chapter. Every day will present you with plenty of opportunities to choose between beauty or ugliness, kindness or selfishness, mercy or vengeance, serenity or anger. There will be little choices, what you eat, how you talk to people, whether you pick up the television remote or a book, what you think about. And there will be bigger choices too, whether you stand up for what's right, whether you reach down to help someone who needs it, what kind of work you do, what standards you hold yourself to. It's often in life easier to make the ugly, selfish, vengeful, or angry choice, to choose the easy path, to give in to your temper, or to keep doing things the way you've always done them. But beautiful choices, like acts of service, community involvement, or an education in UVU, by the way, the greatest institution in the world. I say that as a proud Wolverine myself are rarely as effortless as they seem. Much like physical fitness, there is a regime behind them. It takes commitment, it takes discipline, it takes sacrifice. But when you see the results of beautiful choices, it can take your breath away. As I stand here today in front of you, I am amazed as I see all of you dressed in your caps and gowns. I am witnessing the results of some incredibly beautiful choices. Each of you has an amazing story that you have written with every one of those choices. Martin Luther King Jr. said these words on April 3, 1968, just hours before he would suddenly and fatally meet an assassin's bullet in Memphis outside of his room at the Lorraine Motel. He said, well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter to me now because I've been to the mountaintop and I don't mind. Like anybody, I would love to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go to the top of the mountain, and I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. There is no doubt that there will be difficult moments ahead as you continue to write your stories. But the mountaintop inspiration that you need 
to make beautiful choices will be there to, to guiding you forward with confidence, helping you to choose what is best. May you strive to be your best selves, empowered, grateful, and selfless. Make the may you choose to make the next chapter in your story the most exciting chapter thus far as you take steps towards your promised land. As you leave here today, I urge you to go and make your story as beautiful as you can. And I promise that I cannot wait to read each and every one of them. Now, as Alumni Association President, it's my privilege each year to administer the Alumni Oath to all graduates. Would you please all stand? I'd also like to invite our honorary recipients as well to please stand. Whereas, as the duly appointed president of the Utah Valley University Alumni Association, I charge you, the graduating class of 2019, to uphold the values celebrated in the mission of this institution from which you have received your higher education. Therefore, I charge you to go forth from this ceremony as people of integrity, as lifelong learners and leaders, and as stewards of our globally interdependent community. Having prepared you to accept these responsibilities, I invite you to signify your willingness to uphold these values by each announcing, I will, to our assembly in response to the following question. Graduates, will you accept these responsibilities? All right, I'm gonna ask that again. I need a louder, I will. Graduates, will you accept these responsibilities? Therefore, this second day of May 2019, I invoke my authority as president of the Utah Valley University Alumni Association and officially declare that you are alumni of Utah Valley University and will join with those who have preceded you. Together with more than 5,900 graduates, you will always be proud Wolverines. Congratulations and thank you.